To the servant, it was a done deal. You said she could go, let's go. But to the family, it wasn't that easy. Rebecca could have listened to her mom. Stay with me. A week. Ten days. A month. A year. Give me time. Her family discouraged her. But then it says... It says in verse 56, And he said unto them, Hinder me not, seeing the Lord hath prospered my way. Send me away that I may go to my master. And they said, We will call the damsel and inquire at her mouth. And they called Rebekah and said unto her, Will thou go with this man? And she said, I will go. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Rebecca was going to have to give up everything that she had ever known. Everyone that she'd ever cared about. Everything that was familiar. Everything that was comfortable. And here her family says, just wait a little while. The servant says, I'm ready. What should we do? I'm ready. And they said, let's ask the girl. She said, I will go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He didn't say it would be easy. He did not say we wouldn't have to sacrifice. He didn't say we would not have to leave things behind. Things that are familiar. Things that are comfortable. But the servant said he was ready. He was ready. God is ready. He is ready today. And he is speaking to his bride. There are always going to be discouragers around us. That's saying not yet. Her time has not come. Just wait a little while. Just take it easy for a few minutes. But it's up to the damsel. It's not up to this world. It's not up to the onlookers. Ask the damsel. Ask the girl. And she said, I will go. Hallelujah. She was ready. Nobody else was ready. But she was ready. I like to think she had a vision of the groom. <laughs> Hallelujah. Sure, home was nice. Sure, mom was nice. Sure, comfortable surroundings was nice. But there was something better awaiting her. And that was the groom. And she had a vision of the groom. What is comfortable and what is easy might be nice. Oh, but I got a vision that's even nicer this morning. I've got a vision of the groom. I will go. I will go. Hallelujah. 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 If God is calling you for something or showing you something specific that you need to be doing right now, you'd better listen to him. Not tomorrow. Not give me 10 days. I must go. Salvation is for today. Sanctification is for today. The baptism of the Holy Ghost is for today. Membership into the church of God is for today. You're calling to teach. You're calling to preach. Your calling is today. Not 10 days. I must go. Help us, dear Lord. Help us. Help us, dear Lord. <laughs> You know what the good news was? Her family wanted her to take time. But when Rebecca said, I will go, she moved one step closer to the groom that day. Immediately. 
Immediately, she began her journey toward the groom. What God is bringing us to, he's got a purpose. The servant wasn't being mean, but the groom was waiting. <laughs> God isn't being mean to us, but the groom is waiting. And when you answer him, when you begin to go on that very day, you get one step closer to the groom. I want to get closer to the groom at this very moment. How about you? The, the scripture that I would like to close on today is verse 67. Verse 67. And Isaac brought her unto his mother Sarah's tent and took Rebekah. And she became his wife. And he loved her. It was a difficult journey. The servant had to travel a long way. He had to pray to find the right girl. She had to meet a lot of requirements. She had to spend a lot of time taking care of some dirty, oh, smelly camels. Then she had to leave her homeland. Travel, she had a long journey then. Those camels that she took care of, she ended up traveling with. <laughs> Hallelujah. But there was a happy ending. There was a happy ending. Amen. Amen. And Isaac brought her into his mother Sarah's tent and took Rebecca. And she became his wife. And he loved her. You know why? Because they were meant to be together. <laughs> After all that. They were meant to be together. They were bound together with cords that could not be broken. Church of God, this has not been an easy journey. Jesus will be the first one to tell you it didn't start out so well for him. He sacrificed and he gave his all to purchase her. And we, we've been through some things. It's been hard. It's been long. But he's leading us where the Holy Ghost is ready to take us. He's not being mean. He's not being senseless. He's not asking us to sacrifice for pointless reasons. He's trying to take us to the groom. Because there's a groom somewhere waiting for his bride. And the servant is saying today, let's go. Let's go.